Yeah. But uh, John McCain, um, any any doubt I had has this election uh, was pretty much sealed with that Sarah Palin pick. Oh. Everyone's everyone's like, so oh my god, she's so cute. Oh, lipstick. Oh my god, that's so cute. Uh, pigs and lipstick. I think it's insane. <laughs> To pick this woman, first of all, he only picked her because uh, all the angry Hillary voters, he needed to appease them. That was a good way. That's what he's just like, okay, I need a vagina. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So what he does is he probably just put the name of every female Republican senator and governor on a board and just threw a dart. It's like, here we go, Sarah Palin, that's it. But John McCain, John McCain's still in the news. Uh, there's some news regarding him uh, today I want to share with you. He's still alive. <laughs> That joke could have worked 25 years ago as well. <laughs> but Sarah Palin, the amazing thing is that uh, she was she's for abstinence education, and her own 17-year-old daughter is pregnant. Oh my, it's just insane. First of all, like practicing abstinence, that doesn't work. First of all, how do you practice abstinence? Basketball is something you practice. Just imagine a kid. Hey, Sarah, can you come over? Yeah, yeah, we gotta practice not fucking. <laughs> How about it? Can't we just practice not a blowjob first? Is that okay? Is that too much to ask for? Speaking of uh, sex and abstinence, uh, is anybody here a sex offender? Any sex offenders in the audience? Uh, usually, usually there's like, usually there might be like one guy who's like, I should raise my hand. I am a sex offender, but I'm sort of shy about it. I don't want to. <laughs> I think that's a weird term, sex offender. I think it should be called sex violator. Because uh, when you hear the word offend, I just think you've offended somebody verbally. Like, hey lady, your tits are too small. <laughs> you know, something like that. Uh, because if we could be technical about it, I could put a lot of women in prison. I'm like, yeah, your honor, she refused to sleep with me. She sexually offended me. <laughs> I want her in jail right now. <laughs> yeah. Dateline NBC to catch a predator. That's a great show, right? That's a funny show. Yeah. These guys think they're gonna go to uh, go to a uh, little twelve-year-old boy's house and have sex with him instead. It's uh, what's the guy's name? Chris Hansen. Yeah, Chris Hansen reading off what he said, pretending he's not getting turned on by what he's reading. <laughs> and uh, they always have the same excuse. They're like, "Hey, look, I was just gonna talk to him. I didn't know they were underage." I think a really great excuse would be going, hey, look, Chris Hansen, I just happen to be a really big fan of yours. <laughs> and Dateline NBC in general, and I thought this was going to be the only way I'd get to meet you. So what I did was I logged on the internet, and I said, let me pretend to be a child predator. I was actually hoping it would be you, Chris, that's all. I was hoping to meet you. What's this? It's just a con I wanted you to sign, that's all. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's really hard, though. Uh, parents have a tough job raising kids. Uh, but I, I do hate it, though, when, when they exaggerate, like, oh, God, I have the toughest job in the world, raising kids. Job? Look, I understand raising kids is really hard, otherwise abortion wouldn't be so popular. Um, you know? But uh, a job is sort of, sort of something you, uh, you have to do. You know, you have to, you have to do a job to make money in order to support yourself. Like, a kid you could just, like, dump off at, like, a local hospital or something like that if you don't really want it. And um, oh, not only that, if, yeah, if raising kids is a job, there's a lot of parents that need to get fired. <laughs> Every time I see a kid running around uh, with no supervision, I'm like, where's the parent? Where's the parent doing that job? He needs to get fired right now. All right, let's lighten the mood a little bit uh, from uh, talking about uh, parenting and abortion and elections to uh, let's talk about music. I was watching this special the other day about uh, feuding rappers and feuding rock musicians, and it makes me wonder, you never hear about the crappy singers getting into feuds, right? <laughs> Yeah, you ever hear about like Michael Bolton and Kenny G <laughs> battling it out in the fight to the death? That would be pretty awesome because no matter who wins, society wins. <laughs> because we'd be rid of at least one of them. <laughs> you're the only one. No. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, no, you, 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 you're some people that might like them. You like Yanni too? <laughs> Taking pictures of Fernando, by the way, that ABBA song they wrote about you was great. It's, you know, inside joke, nobody, nobody, uh, nobody saw Mamma Mia, okay? There was a song called Fernando, and that's his name. Never mind. But uh, I remember that uh, Michael Bolton, uh, Kenny G um, joke, I told it once, and the guy in the audience raised his hand and said, I'm Michael Bolton's friend. And it was very scary because it had to be true. 
nobody admits to something that embarrassing just for fun. And after the show, he comes up to me, and I'm like really scared. Why is he approaching me? And he shakes my hand and goes, oh, I'm just letting you know, I'm Michael Bolton's friend, but I really enjoyed the show. And I was never so relieved, but I was also never so emasculated. Because I was like, was I just afraid that Michael Bolton's friend was going to beat me up? <laughs> I was afraid of getting beat up in an extremely corny fashion, get bitch slapped to death, have hair gel shoved in my eye. Would have been good. Music, talk about music. How about movies? Uh, you guys uh, see any, uh, any good movies over the summer? Dark Knight, that was a good movie. Uh, one movie I'm glad seems to finally be out of the theater is Sex in the City. Sex in the City. I hate that show and movie. Here's why. Too many girls in the city think they're characters on that show. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm also this young, this young career woman that has all these wild and crazy adventures and like bitch at work at Circuit City. <laughs> right? Okay? You're not Carrie Bradshaw. If anything, you're Terry Bradshaw. Okay? <laughs> Because everything you say sounds like you've been hit in the head with a football 75 times. That's all I'm saying. Oh, man. This is great, uh, doing comedy. Uh, I tried Googling myself the other day to see where my career's at. Uh, yeah. But uh, the problem with my name, Alan Schwartz, it's such a common Jewish name that like, it's just like 10 pages of like doctors and lawyers and people like, people like a lot richer than me, uh, basically. And uh, the most famous Alan Schwartz uh, was a guy named, uh, the guy Alan Schwartz, he was the CEO of Bear Stearns. Remember that? There was a company that went bankrupt this year and they like, had to sell all their assets, like uh, J.P. Morgan, shit like that. So I'm reading all these weird articles like, don't blame Alan Schwartz for the downfall of Bear Stearns. I'm like, fuck no, don't blame Alan Schwartz. I tell dick jokes for a living. I have nothing to do with the economy. What the hell's going on? Names. Speaking of names, I remember uh, growing up, uh, there was a guy in my temple named Adolf Heisler. <laughs> Never changed his name. Really weird to go for life. He actually ran for president of my temple, too. Like, he expected people to vote for him. Uh, you know. I think what really doomed him was his campaign slogan, Hail Heisler. This wasn't going to work. And he also scared us because he kept uh, telling us that we were going to go on camping trips. Kept inviting us to that. <laughs> The other day, I saw a guy say, fuck you, and give a guy the finger. And you guys might be wondering, uh, why talk about this? This happens all the time. And it's just, uh, I don't understand the need for the finger with the fuck you. I think you get your point perfectly fine with that. Fuck you. Oh, shit, forgot this. <laughs> but fuck you is the only curse that's followed by a gesture. I never see that with any other curse. I never see a guy go, hey, you, eat shit. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot. You've been great. Yeah, yeah, give it up for Alan Schwartz. You need to lose weight.